welcome to prenatal yoga. Um, my name is Michelle. All, of course, all of you know that is my name. Um, at this time, and as always, get your water, be hydrated, a lovely beer glass. And what's great about doing these practices is we can wear whatever we want. It is late here in Colorado. I have my little sweater on. You know, I'm just relaxed. So today's practice is going to be a chair yoga. You can do this if you're pregnant, if you're feeling a little sick, or if you, you know, just need a gentle flow. So the props we need, a chair, and then for the prenatal mamas, um, two just standard pillows that you get from your bed. Um, so be comfortable, maybe have some music next to you, and we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to begin seated with your feet firmly planted on the floor, feet are hip width distance. Your hands can be palm down or palm up. So palm up is more of a receiving or prayerful gesture. Palms down is more grounding. And then whichever you choose, just begin to roll your shoulders up and back. Close your eyes. And sit up nice and tall. Feel the crown of the head reaching high to the sky. And just gently begin to pull your belly button toward the spine. Or if you're pregnant, just hugging the baby. Maybe even you hold that hand around the belly. And then with the eyes closed, maybe you flutter them open, we are going to do what's called a quiche mudra. I need to use my reference guide. So we're going to take our thumb and our middle fingers together. Again, palms down palms out, whatever works for you, and then close your eyes and breathe. So this mudra is for setting an intention. So whatever your intention is for today, maybe it's stress relief, grounding, calm, whatever it is, just begin to breathe into that intention. Breathe in, through the nose, and breathe out of the mouth. Let it go. Let's do it two more times. Breathe in. Breathe the last one. And I haven't even gotten moving and I'm already warm. So if you feel a little warm, just take off your sweater. You might want that for our Shavasana later on. So seated cat cow, hands are going to be on your knees. As you inhale, begin to open the heart. Relax the shoulders down the back. As you exhale, belly to spine, round it up. So if you your back is touching the back of your chair, and that's not comfortable, scoot forward a little bit. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round it out. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Inhale, sit up. I'm just going to rotate the joints here. So if you have had a long day and your wrists, your elbows, you feel a little bit tight, just create some movement. Hand on the shoulders, big circles up and back, opening that chest. And take it the other way. And then I'm just going to shake it out. I'm going to take one hand to the side here. Reach up and over my side bend here. Feeling that heart lifting. Pinky rotates down. Inhale, open up. And exhale to the other side. Open that chest to the heart. Keep the feet planted down. Inhale up. Exhale. We're going to take a gentle twist. So if you're pregnant, the twist comes from your upper chest. If not, it can come from your low belly. So wherever you are, inhale, find that length, and then just exhale, gentle twist. One hand goes to the back of the chair, the other hand goes to the opposite, opposite knee. Relax the shoulders and maybe you gaze over that shoulder if you're pregnant. On every inhale, find that length. Every exhale, give a little bit. On your next inhale, come back through center. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, find that length. Exhale, twist around. Get that stretch. It doesn't feel okay to look back. You can look to the side, you can look forward, really wherever it feels comfortable in your body today. And then on every inhale, come back to center and release. So from here, we're going to take our legs wide. So it's called a horse stance or a goddess stance. So we're just going to stretch out the shoulders. Inhale, find that length again. Exhale, bring one shoulder to the inside. Really press the hips back. Inhale through center. Exhale, take it. Do one more each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. 
Inhale, come back through center and keep the legs as you are. Take a gentle side angle so that elbow rests on that knee again, opening through that heart. Now, if this does not feel great for the shoulders, for the arm to be lifted, just take a gentle half bind behind the back and still opening the heart. Nice. Inhale, find that length again. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale to the other side. So maybe you lift up if that feels okay for the head, neck, and shoulders. You can look straight ahead. You can even look down to the ground. Again, you can always take that half bind. Nice. Inhale, come back. Exhale, release. So now we're going to go to our warrior poses. Now, if you have a wooden chair like mine or a metal chair, it might be really uncomfortable for your hips. So you can always place a cushion down. But we're just going to square off this foot toward the wall. So you can see that my front foot is straight. You can't really see my back foot, but there you go. So we're just gonna square off. So again, it's a little bit of a twisting here in the torso, twisting action. Maybe you begin to reach your arms up if that feels okay. So a nice warrior one variation, then open out to a warrior two. So your shoulders are right over your hips. You might even lean back a little bit. And then even though we're using the chair to support our upper body, still root down through the feet. So it feels as if you're strong through the lower body and light and airy through the top. As you inhale, flip that front palm, reverse your warrior. So again, maybe look down, palm up, inhale, and as you exhale, side angle pose. Nice. So we'll flow with that three times. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Two more. Inhale, reverse. Maybe you just kind of do a little dancer arms using a little bit more of your core warm up. And exhale. Nice. Inhale, come back through center. So pick yourself up, but take it all to the other side. So it takes a little bit of time to get adjusted. But I have limited space here, so I need to move my chair. So again, you might want to square off for that warrior one. Sitting up nice and tall. So it is a bit of a back bend here. And you're getting a nice stretch through the back leg. You can hold onto the chair. You can reach the arms up. Relax the shoulders, breath in, exhale, open up for that warrior two. Again, relax the shoulders, shoulders over the hips, and lean back. Inhale, flip that front palm, exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, find length, exhale, side ankle stretch. So we'll flow that three times. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side ankle. Inhale, and maybe those dancers' arms using more of that core. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release your arms. So we're just going to shake it out a little bit and then sit up nice and tall. So we're going to start with that right leg. Just straighten and relax. Straighten, so engaging that quadricep and relax. When you flex that foot, feel that heel press away. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Did you feel that quad? Firing up, nice, and switch to the other side, so root down, and then exhale, lift. Can you flex that foot? And maybe you don't even let that foot hit the ground when you lower it down. You keep it hovering, engaging through the quadriceps, through the hip flexors. Again, that core is engaged. So with yoga, it's not such a tight core, it's more of a soft stability. Let's do two more here. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Nice, so we are gonna sit a little bit closer to the front, feet are completely stable underneath the knees. Simple squat, but we're going to use the chair. So hands can be at the waist or at the heart. We're going to stand up, exhale, inhale, sit down, all the way, exhale. So this is, I love squats, for those of you who know me. And this is a great way for you to do a squat where you feel stable, where you're not going so far down, you get a bit of a, bit of a rest. You can get the arms, reach up, exhale, inhale. You can take the arms back. Whatever works for you, out. Let's do three more. Exhale. And the last one. Have a seat. So we're going to cross one ankle over the knee. Keep that foot flex to protect the knee. So you can stay here. This nice supportive figure four, or you have a nice space here for the belly where you can begin to fold forward. 
nice flat back. So I'm actually going to turn to the side so you can see I'm hinging from my waist to bring my chest over my legs. My back is flat. If you round out here, then it gets more to the low back and doesn't really stretch out through that hip flexor as much. So nice flat back. Heart is always moving forward. Inhale, find that knee. Exhale, find the back. Inhale, come all the way back up, and we will switch sides. Go cross the other foot over, flex the foot. Inhale, sit up, exhale, fold. So, of course, go to your deck, whatever feels good for you right now. For me, this side's a little bit tighter. So I'm going to ease into the side a little bit more and keep that flat back. Heart moving forward, maybe fold a little bit deeper. Take a breath in. Exhale. Nice. All right, so we're going to come up. We're going to do a little bit more with our legs before we come down to the ground. So we're going to take our chair off to the side and then place our hand on the chair. So you won't be able to see my head. Hopefully you will be able to hear me. I'll back up a little bit. So your heels are together. Toes are out. Just kick that leg forward and in. Forward and in. So just working that leg and the hips. Four. Five. We'll do 10 on each side, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we'll take the leg out to the side, inhale, 10, maybe you flex and point. Really it's just a preference here. If you point it, sometimes I feel like it engages my calf a little bit more. 5 more, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. So we're going to turn to face the chair. So that same leg that you were working, heart is lifted, just kick it back. So you might not even take that leg back that much, but you'll really feel it in that pose. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So you're going to stand with your feet parallel this time. Heart is lifted, just lift up and down. Lift up and down, getting into those calves. Nice. Let's do three more here before we add on. Three, two, and one. So we're going to sit back, like we're in a chair, knees are over ankles, stand up, calf breaks, just five of those. Great, so we're going to take the chair over to the other side. Heels in, toes out, kick that foot forward for 10. Now, so the hand can be at the waist, it can be out to the side, really whatever works. I've had a long day, my shoulders are a bit tired, so I'll keep my hand at the waist. Five, four, three, two, and one. So we'll take it out to the side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then we're going to turn around that same standing leg, take it back for 10. 9, heart is lifted, 8, 7, soft bend in that standing leg, 5, 4, Two and one. So just sit back, oh, get a nice like, downward facing dog here. So you really want your hips over your heels, melt the heart down, stretching through the backs of the legs. And then we're going to set up for our relaxation pose. So we're going to grab the pillows for our support. And we're going to turn the chair so that it's right there, and then the pillows are where our back's going to go. So your low back's going to come to the very bottom of that pillow. You're going to lie down, and then just the supportive legs up the wall. So legs are on the chair, head is resting, palms are facing up. Sit down and relax. Keeping your eyes closed. If you have a family member who is good at massages, maybe they could give you a little forehead massage here at that time. Maybe you want 
the blanket or your sweater to cover up with. Stay in this reclined legs up the wall for as long as you like. It's really great for circulation, really great for calming the mind, calming the body. For the next few moments while we're here, we're going to repeat a mantra. Ra ma da sa, just four syllables. Ra ma da sa. It's a mantra for healing and peace. So as you repeat ra ma da sa, imagine healing blessings surrounding you, your body, your family, your home, and your world. Healing and peace. And now project healing to the situation, a person, a family member that you think needs healing and peace the most. And that can be quite a few. So continue lying down, resting for as long as you like, repeating Rama Dasa. Healing and peace. Rama. 